Hey guys, just at B&M in Walkden, hunting down Hot Wheels. Let's go in, let's see what they've got. I'll see you in there, guys. Right, guys, well, they've got full pegs in this B&M. <laughs> I don't know what cases are out, but £1.69 is not a bad price at all. Uh, so I'm happy to pay that. Let's get started, guys. And first up, we do have a Ford Escort RS2000, part of the Retro Racers set from 2023, which is really, really cool. You can get a Super Treasure Hunt version of the RS2000 out this year in that lime green. Uh, but these things have such good detail on them, guys. Look at that license plate and the brake lights on the back there. I've never seen it on the pegs other than one time last year where I did take it home. Uh, I think I'll take this one as well so I can let one of them loose. Really, really cool casting. Uh, I'll pop that to one side. And let's keep going. Oh, we've got a Ford GT40 right behind there. The Ford Escort, so two Fords straight away. Um, factory fresh, really, really cool in that eight ball livery. It does remind me of the Ford versus Ferrari film. Absolutely fantastic film. If you do like your cars, I do recommend definitely watching the Ford versus Ferrari film. But yeah, really good casting. Do have this one already. So I'll pop it up here. Oh, and another one as well, a Volkswagen T2 pickup. Another great casting. Really, really good. And this was the uh, first variant of the year. I think it was like A or B case. That's cool. Let's keep going. Upside down coupe clip. <laughs> I don't think that can be considered as an error, guys, because I think it can probably flip by itself. Really nice Corvette C6. Really, really cool casting. Do like this one. Definitely, definitely reminds me of the Fast and Furious. You know the RX-7 that uh, hand drives. Similar colors, similar livery, but really cool. Do you like that car, that? Let's keep going. Oh man, look how damaged this thing is. Absolutely mashed in on the bubble there. If you want to keep your castings protected, by the way, definitely use our channel sponsor, Class UK. Absolutely awesome uh, car protectors. I definitely do vouch for them. I use them for all my castings that I want to keep protected. I will pop a link to Class UK's website in the description if you want to go and check them out. Don't let your cars get damaged like this, guys. <laughs> Whether it be by accident or by the kids, you know, wanting to rip them open. <laughs> it's always good to have a bit of protection on them. Let's keep going. the Renault Sport RS01. This was a treasure hunt uh, from 2023. I think it was early on in the cases of 2023, uh, but a really, really good casting. Do like this one. You can see it says Renault Sport there on the spoiler. Great colors, red, white, and black. I do have this already. I wish it was the Super, guys. The Super is pretty amazing with that Spectra Flame paint, uh, but yeah, really cool find. It's a shame that the front grill isn't black with the big Renault badge on there. It does make it a little bit less desirable, but really, really good casting. I'll pop it up here though. Let's keep going. A jackhammer. Twin mill from the Celebration Racers set. Broken card. Oh, nice. It's the 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport, which also can be found as a super treasure hunt, but uh, this one is not. Looks really, really good in that orange with the uh, white base as well underneath. I do like the wheels on this thing as well. They are pretty good. Uh, oh, okay. We've got the Subaru World Rally STI. White and blue looks really good on this. Love the Japanese import set from 2023. I do have this a few times. I, I found it a lot last year, so I'll leave that one. Now let's keep going. Ah, 
Asia's favourite, <laughs> the Proton Saga. I believe that this is uh, one of the rarest ones in Malaysia because it's a very popular car. I think it sells well on eBay in Malaysia, but not in the UK. I have a soft spot for compact cars because all my cars that I've owned have been compact. So <laughs> yeah, really, really cool. I do like this one. I'll pop it up here, keep going. Oh, very nice Huawei Roadster from uh, Pagani. Absolutely beautiful, this. If you can find the pearlescent white one, oh, that one's absolutely amazing. I love the paint on it. Uh, but yeah, really cool casting. Right, last row, guys. Let's see what they've got. Anything good? <laughs> nice. We've got two Audi 90 Quattros from last year. This is the original colorway in black, red and white. Uh, but you can get this this year as a super treasure hunt. Absolutely amazing car. Love this. It looks just like the license one as well, which is a beast with a huge wide body on it. <laughs> Love this car. Really, really good. I might grab that because I don't have one to let loose. So yeah, which one's best though, guys? Uh, yeah, I'll take this one. Some long cards here as well. So they would have been on a strip. Let's have a quick look. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. It could have also been a super from 2023, but it's not. We're getting a lot what could have been supers, should have been supers, would have been. <laughs> but I still like the castings, even though they're not supers. It's just a shame because uh, the supers get snapped up straight away, I feel, uh, and disappear. Still cool to see it. Good one. Oh, <laughs> and another one what could have been a super it's the 32 ford in that gulf livery really really cool little hot rod from the rod squad i don't think i've come across this one before and i do collect the gulf liveries so maybe i'll take that it's a good condition as well okay let's keep going last couple of pegs now Really nice uh, DMC DeLorean. This is the actual DeLorean, not the uh, time machine one. <laughs> oh, nice. It's the Liberty Walk Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia in that gold. This is an awesome one. And these were getting snapped up last year like nobody's business. So very rare to see them on the pegs now, guys. I do have a few of these already. Um, I might grab this just to lay it loose or maybe to trade. Really awesome find on the last peg. Yeah, I'll definitely take this. And I'll probably let it loose. Might trade it. Okay, guys. So last peg, we've got a limited grip. A loopster and they do have their arms up <laughs> so it's a rare one guys or is it i don't know uh we've got a limited grip again and then last but not least we have a low lux okay and then on the rest of the pegs we do have some silver line fast and furious dominic toretto cars um and we kind of have is this like I feel like this one should be flying off the pegs, guys, because I think it's the best one out of the full set, isn't it? It's the uh, RX-7. Really, really cool casting. Um, we've also got the Dodge Charger, the 1968 Dodge Charger with a big gold band around the back there, gold wheels. It's got such good detail on this RX-7. Really, really cool. Do like that one. And we've also got the 1950 Chevy Fleet Line. Uh, does it say where it's off? No, doesn't say where it's off. And a 1970 Chevelle Super Sport. That one's pretty clean, isn't it, guys? I've not, I've not come across that one before. I don't know which car everybody's chasing out of this set, but I would think that it'd be the Mazda RX-7 just because of how iconic it is and it being a, a really good looking one. 
So yeah, guys, that's everything. Oh, except for this on the floor here. <laughs> a 71 Lamborghini Miura uh, SV on a long card. Okay, very cool. I think this could have been a super as well from last year. Um, yeah, we're, we're missing out on supers all the time, guys. Just getting the uh, standard ones, but it's all good. Really, really cool casting. I do have this already, but yes, we've been through all the pegs. Let's have a little look and see what we got, guys. Well, we found some really random, but awesome castings in here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.